If you guys have noticed, before creating any function, I always write public, then I will type function and after that the function name. So what is public? Similarly, we also have one more type which is private. Then we can type our function and the name of function. For example, private function. So what is public and private? What is the difference between them? The public function means that we can call this function outside of this class and we can use it. In here, as you guys can see, in here we have index and about. And if I come here, index and about as both of them are public and I can call him from the web.php. But if I want to call this function, so let's return something here, return. Hello. Now let's call this function from the web. So in the state of about this one, let's go back, refresh. Now in here I got an error, internal server error and the message is called to private method. So the public functions can be called outside this class but the private functions can only be called inside the same class. Now let's uh, undo this. Let's save our web.php and in here, if we want to call any private function and set another method, we will just create a, let's create a method. Let's call this name and we set this to the private function. So we will call it by typing dollar sign this, then arrow and the function name, which is private function. Now, if I return dollar sign name so let's not confuse with this two let's delete them let's delete them from here as well so we don't get confused okay now let's go back and let's remove this two also let's enter we got hello which we wrote in our private function or let's change it to hello world Let's go back, refresh, we got our hello world. So this is the difference between private and public function. Another thing that I want to mention in here is we also have one more function in here which is the constructor and the controller. So let's create a function called dash dash construct. So whenever you want to do any calculation or run any logic or anything whenever this class or is called you can write it inside that construct method it will run whenever this class is called for example let's create a global variable so let's say protected dollar sign name now let's uh, assign this one a value so we will say dollar sign this name is equal to my name now in our about us we will just return this name so to return the global variable we will just type here dollar sign this and the variable name let's comment this out we don't need it right now let's go back let's refresh as you guys can see i got my name in the browser even though i, I just call it in here but i did not call the constructor method in here i just call the global va variable we can add something like this we can create one more global variable for example age and by default it's empty and set it here so this age is equal to 20 now if i call this also let's comment this and let's write dollar sign this age now let's go refresh 
we got 20. To summarize this part, first we had public function, which we can call it anywhere outside this class. It can be called outside this class. Then we have private function, which we can only call inside the same class. We cannot call it outside the class. And finally, the construct method, which will run automatically whenever this class is called.